Remember to love the home you have. Make it something that you love to be in. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Lynn, for those of you who are new. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I styled my Ikea bookshelf. In my last video I had asked if you wanted to see a bookshelf styling video because I didn't get it put in that video. A lot of you said you did, so this is what I'm going to be doing today if you're new and coming over. We're in the process of remodeling, kind of remodeling our home. We just moved to Sarasota, Florida, so we're trying to get the living room put together and a living room tour is coming really soon, so stay tuned for that. If you are not familiar, um, my style here in this house is a little bit more mid-century modern with some boho mixed into it. I love adding plants for texture and just warmth and stuff. So I've been kind of just playing with things a while and the shelf styling thing is something that is fun for me. I enjoy doing it. I'm not an expert by any sense of the imagination, but I have learned a couple things here and there. So I'll try to share what I have learned. So the bookshelf I have is one that I found off of Facebook Marketplace, but it does come from Ikea and it is, I will link it down below if you guys are interested in it. It's under a hundred dollars. I'm thinking $80 maybe if you buy it from Ikea, but I found it on Marketplace for even cheaper and I was thrilled about that. So let's just get right into it. So I do like to add books to my shelves, although I should have a couple more. I feel like I'm lacking some, but I just haven't really gotten any more. And so I'll probably add to them eventually, but books are always a good way to fill your bookshelves. I like to start there, basically, just because you can kind of distribute them as you see best. I like to work in somewhat of a diagonal, like zigzag pattern. Just don't feel like you need to use every inch of space on your bookshelf either because it's okay to leave some spaces blank. So now I need to add some life to my shelves, at least in my opinion. I have some different types of plants. I've got quite a few of these, oh, I forget the name again, but they are really hardy and I haven't killed them so far. I actually brought this plant specifically from our Ohio home and it's been living now since August, I think, of 2018. So I feel pretty good about myself. Um, I let's hope it can keep going and growing. I don't know any tips to make it grow faster well, Let me know you guys. It's a pretty common plant like you can pick it up pretty much anywhere, but um, I'm gonna put this one on one of the shelves. I don't necessarily love this part of it But I think it's okay I think it'll work because it has the black and the tan in it and then it just has you know nice greenness to warm up my space things on a shelf also think about what sizes and what shapes they are try not to have maybe too many of the same shape try to stagger things a little bit bring in some different shapes the bottom of the shelf would have looked nice with two matching baskets but I didn't want to spend any more so I just have this thrifted basket with some blankets in it and then decided to try and just balance it out with a little um, tray Trays are great for lots of things. I should add a couple books or something to it, but I think I'm gonna leave it for now. Maybe in the future I'll get baskets that are the same or something, but I think this works well. And baskets always add texture and warmth to your space. So I still want to add in a couple pictures. I have like one of the boys that might work and that's something else that I may incorporate some more in the future. Add a couple of regular like pictures of family and stuff. But it's also good to mix it up a little bit and not just use personal photos because 
art actually gives some interest, like it shows some character. And while personal photos are great and everything, it's good to mix it up a little bit. Now I realize that can be maybe controversial to some people and maybe you just like that and that's perfectly fine. Do what works for you. Uh, just remember to love the home you have. Make it something that you love to be in. Make it special because that's where you live most of your life. I'm, it's just, it feels important to me to have a, a space that I love and not everyone's gonna love the same thing. So if I do something, it might not be special for you, you might not like it, and that's okay. Everyone has different opinions and you like different things. So that was just something that I've been trying to do more is bring other pieces of stuff into my house that's not just family pictures and signs. It can be a simple thing as pulling something out of a magazine or maybe in one of your coffee table books, picking something up at a thrift store, whether it be a book or even art you could maybe reframe or remat or something there's lots of different options it doesn't have to cost a lot and i'm not telling you to go buy a bunch of stuff either that's not my intent just maybe think about how you're decorating and um, just some different ways of helping you mix it up if you are struggling and that type of thing it's just great to use a variety of different uh, things All right, so this is what it turned out like. I'm really happy with it. I'm sure I'll play around with it um, as time goes by, but yeah, I just wanted something tall up here because we have really tall ceilings. I don't know if you guys can see the scale of it. So I wanted to add more height to it, and so I added some candlesticks and that geometrical shape up there. Um, I've got my stack of books right here. These are actually mostly photo albums and then a couple uh, magazines that I just stuck in there because they have like white spines and stuff. They go together. And then I have um, my two green objects, of course. And then I added some more geometrical shapes to it by adding these two houses, which are from the Target uh, dollar spot this winter I picked them up. And of course, then I have some books. And then this shelf, you saw me put these books on, just some darker objects. I have some blue in my living room, so I was trying to incorporate some blue and black. And then also on the bottom, I have this dough bowl with some fresh greens. I don't know how long these will last, but I just had picked them up at Trader Joe's and I had left over. So then I have this glass jar here and then this weight on the Lord behind that. And then of course my basket with blankets and this tray down here, which could definitely change as time goes on. So that's kind of what I'm working with right now. All right guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you some inspiration. I've got some visitors with me here. I had to try and finish filming. <laughs> um, but anyways, if you guys have not checked out Shara Robes and from Live Your Style, make sure you go check out her channel. Um, because she has lots of tips on styling stuff in her house and how you can do it on a budget. She's got lots of different types of styles she features. So it gives a lot of inspiration as far as like different um, types of styles because there's so many different ways you could, you could decorate and stuff. So 
she's a really good channel for you guys to follow if you do want to do that. So make sure you go check her out. I'll try to link her channel below. Uh, she's just a really fun one to watch. That was just something I thought of if you need some more ideas and stuff. So if you are new, I'd love to have you subscribe and join the channel. I love decorating and home things in general. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you guys so much and I will see you later. Bye. Thank you.